Well, after two years in the making, the city of Nolanville is in the process of opening up its very own free clinic and it's all hands on deck to make it happen. Six News reporter Nikki Latarulo visited the site this afternoon and has all the details. Nikki? A community of seven churches in the small city of Nolanville were having trouble helping those medically underserviced get the care they needed. The distance, the transportation is a problem in Nolanville. Us taking people down and waiting, like all free clinics, you wait your turn. And we just felt the need and our hearts just went out. And so all the churches decided we needed to do something. So they came up with the idea of creating the city's first free clinic that will be funded by the local churches as well as donations. Just pretty much family medicine, vaccinations, uh, immediate care, cold, strip, things like that that can be treated here. After searching for a building to house the Nolanville Faith Outreach Center, Jack and Anita Sims, a local couple, donated the building for the clinic to live in for the next three years. And after passing lead and asbestos tests, over 50 community members got to work. We took all of the insides of the building out uh, for the purpose of being able now to come back in and remodel. The building on Main Street has been vacant for the past 12 to 15 years, which means it needs all new electricity, roofing and plumbing. They hope to have it up and running by early 2021. The facility will be run by volunteer doctors and nurses and open Mondays from 4 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. After we posted the pictures on Facebook, nurses just said, I'll volunteer. And so with the hours, it really probably will work out well that all our nurses will get to volunteer but the passion to see the city come alive was exciting to the churches to know that you know there's others that see the same need we do currently the closest free clinic is in downtown Colleen and the Nolanville Faith Outreach Center will welcome anyone in for its services Nikki Latarulo, 6 News